Right, just me today. As you can see, I've just hit my tee shot. I'm here at Palma Colonial by myself. I've just hit my tee shot, not good. It's uh, beside this fig tree here, not, not ideal. But again, first swing of the day, no warm up. Step up out of the car from an hour, hour I drive down the coast. There it is. I don't have much of a shot. Could be a bogey on the first hole, but that's okay. Right, we're filming. So anyway, uh, like I said, just me. Oh, it's gonna be a little bit pissed, but yes, me, just me, uh, Palma Colonial. Uh, haven't played here for years, so I'm gonna have a hit and we're gonna go from there. Uh, playing off the blue markers. Um, it's saying I've hit the ball so far, 212 meters. Just on the other side of this tree. All right, I'm gonna start setting stuff up. But anyway, thanks for thanks for watching. So far, I said Palma Colonial by myself. I've played it two times and it's never been single. So I wanna play a single. See if I can't have a 69. No, I just want to play well. Like I played well at Albin, which was which was quite nice. A little bit on and off, but um, yes, putted okay. I'm going to go set up. We'll see how we go. Right behind this thing over here, somewhere. Right, so there it is. I don't have a full swing, certainly. How far? 140. Watch says uh, 136 to the middle. Like I said, I don't, I'm sorry, I'm over at the cart. I don't have a full swing. I'm just gonna try to bump maybe a six iron, depending on what sort of length swing I've got. Oop. So there's roots everywhere. I think this is a fig tree. Um, but yes, I'm not in a great, great spot here. So, let's try to get it somewhere up near the green. And, this is annoying. And, try to not make a big meal of all of this. Yep, I oh, see, I don't lie. Any, all right, come on, stop sucking. Oh, that's maybe just made the fairway. Jesus. Oh, well, let's try to get out of it with a uh, up and down. Maybe make a par. Definitely not worse than a bogey. Okay, so in the fairway, got no idea how far, but like I said, this is Palmer Colonial. Toughish golf course because I think something like 70 meters. There you go. I shot a 69 already. Uh,. There's like, hang on, I'll go 58. So there's there's basically uh, 17 holes, I think, where there's water in play, or something along those lines. It's just something, something silly like that. Um, there's water to the left here, uh, mangroves and fig trees to the right. So anyway, I've got uh, 58 degree. I'm gonna. Get all the flight scope stuff done. You would have seen it off the first. Everything should work and we should be good. All right. Go a little bit, just a little bit. Go a little. That looks near pin high to me, just to the right of it. <clears throat> Somewhere down there. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. We'll get there. Short of pin high. Damn it. Right. So, not ideal. But I haven't had a putt yet, so we'll figure out all this as we go along. Again, greens look really, really good. Courses actually looks like it's in a decent, decent sort of nick. Which is good. Just had quite a bit of rain, so I've just driven down from Brisbane, and um, yeah, okay, there was a little bit of water around, but uh, it looks like they've had quite a lot of rain here. Nice and squelchy. Nice and squelchy. It rolled good. 
well, that was an easy bogey to start. As you can see, there's mud on my foot. I'll have to wash that off, but yeah. Nice hole, uh, nice golf course. Like I said, 17 of the 18 holes with water, uh, at, at least sort of, yeah. Hopefully, I don't shoot a big number. Rightio, second hole, guys. Par five. What do we get here? Oh, we've had a five. Good. Move on to the next. How many putts do I have? Two putts. No penalties. Cool. So we're using the Garmin watch. Let's just see how that goes. Um, par five, I've got 470 meters basically straight down there. You'll see it in the drone stuff. Straight down there. So it's a bit damp, so the ball ain't gonna be going too far, I don't believe. Straight down the bunkers in the way distance is my line. That's oh, just down the right edge. Miss those trees. Yep, miss the trees. That's gonna go nowhere after that hits the ground. It's probably spinning quite a bit. I miss it a little, but uh, guess what? I hit it better than the first hole, so that's always nice. Getting better. Right, so the flight scope says I hit it like 272, which is not the case. I hit it 250. So I'm gonna have to change the settings in regards to how far or firm the conditions are. Looks like 216 to flag, 208 to middle, so the pin's up the back a little bit. I'm gonna hit a three iron, because it ain't going too far. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's um, it's definitely, definitely damp. Like I said, Costa looks awesome though, so far. Greens seem to roll quite nicely, not too quick, which is nice. I've towed the ring out of that. Go! That's going to be way short. Yeah, that's short. So that's uh, that's a big toe jammer. That's way out in the toe. Maybe it would have gone close to the front if it wasn't wet. But because it is wet, guess what happens? It don't go nowhere. It goes nowhere. Cool. 30 meters out. 36 meters out, 33 meters out. So I've hit that shot 170 odd <laughs> instead of two, what did I say, 216. So yes, miles, miles off. Like I said, I miss hit it. Even then, it may not have got there on a, on a really, really good one. So I got a 54, 33. The Mason's number, eh? Uh, just to the left of it. Go. I copped a terrible kick. Go, go, go. It's in line with it, but it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't speedy enough. As you can see, it's in line. It's probably 10 or 12 feet, maybe even a little bit more. As you can see there, not too bad, but no, didn't give it the beans. Cool. So like I said, I'm up here. It um, definitely. Oh look, it was okay. There's definitely a chance of uh, of a birdie. But it was, certainly wasn't a great effort, was it? Jeez, this looks like it's going to break slightly to the left. <sighs> slightly to the left. Nope. Did not hit it. Oh, that's a par, it's better than the first, so we're getting better. Definitely getting better, but okay, one over after two. Next hole's tough, like I said, the, the water on this hole was to the left, water on the next hole's to the left. Yeah, fun, fun golf course. Right here, guys, what have we got? Third hole, par four, 350, 367 to the middle from here. Again, another hole with lots of water. 
It's fun. <laughs> I just hope I don't lose too many golf balls. I just hope I don't lose too many golf balls. So I've got driver. Um, it may or may not be the play. It's basically straight down at the greenest tree in the distance I'm looking at. I know there's a few green trees there, but if we look sort of down that line is basically what I'm looking at there. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Hopefully it doesn't rain because there's talks of more rain coming soon. Back into the breeze just slightly. Well, it's just to the left of it. Is that covering? Yeah, that's fine. It's right on the left edge of that tree. Oh no, where's my pink, oh. There's my pink tea. I've cut it off the, uh, the water a little tiny bit. Well, straight basically, I just necked it the smallest amount. I just snuck back to the right. Perfect, perfect. Cool, so, watch says I've got 100 meters in and I've hit a 254. It's, um, like I said, the ball's going barely nowhere after it hits the ground. It's going less than 10 meters. I've got 90 to the flag. Nine of the flags, so the pin's basically right up the front. Pin's right up the front. It's just got a 54, just sort of a normal three quarter ish 54. Yeah, so 100 meters to middle. Well, it's just right of it. It's on the green. It's further right than I want to see it, but it's on the green. Fill, fill your divots. Fill your divots. But you can hear it. Maybe you can hear it underfoot. Like I said it's uh, it's rather squelchy. But must have had a crap ton of rain. Must have had a crap ton of rain. All right. Well, I didn't turn the iPad on. So even though the flight scope was on, I didn't get the spin numbers. Anyway. Cool. So as you can see, that's back down towards the T. That's back down towards the T. Um, it was pin high. It was the right club. It was the right number. As like I said, just way right. That's where it pitched. Oh, it actually backed up. Green seemed pretty good. Again, not overly quick. I got this downhill maybe a little bit left to right. All right. To make a change instead of birdies and instead of bogeys and pars, let's have a let's have a birdie. It looks oh, it broke that way even more than I thought. I was downhill a little bit quicker, but it wasn't it wasn't too bad. I've actually. Uh, Purchased a lab putter. Done a live the other last week, and um, yeah, got a lab putter. So that'll be very, very interesting to see how that goes. I like the idea of the lab. I got the Mez, just the normal Mez one. So the fangy, fang-looking head. I don't know, in 68 degrees of lie angle and same length as that. I don't know, I just want to have a bit of a muck around with it. If it works, great. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But I've got every type of putter now. And now there's no excuse. I just need to find something to like. And just putt better. Maybe practice. Practice might help. Beautiful. And don't forget, smash that like button. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're that's what you say, don't you? Oh, that's what they say to say. Hey? I don't know. If you don't like it, don't like it. Hit, hit the dislike. Who cares? Yep. I don't care. But anyhow, see you then. Beautiful. See you. <laughs>